angle of muscle attachment explained with Coach Castle. To start with, torque. Simply stated, torque is the ability of a force to cause rotation on a lever. Torque is what creates biomechanical movement. It is what creates the movement of the human lever system, or your bones. Being able to maximize the amount of torque a muscle can generate will allow for optimum strengthening of that muscle. The greater the torque a muscle can produce, the greater the movement it will produce on the body's lever. The effectiveness of the muscle force in producing rotation is greatly influenced by the angle of the pull. If your goal of exercise is to increase movement, you can manipulate the torque variables to maximize the efficiency of the muscles to move the body part. Not all of the force produced by the muscle is put to use in generating rotation of the bone. The effectiveness of the muscle force in producing rotation is greatly influenced by the angle of the pull. It is much harder to move the weight when your elbows are fully extended compared to when they're at 90 degrees. Depending on the angle of insertion of the muscle, some force is directed to stabilizing or destabilizing of the bone. This is because of the angle torque relationship. At angles less than 90 degrees, only a little part of the muscle effort will produce rotation, while a major part contributes to joint stability or stabilizing of the joint. By adjusting the angle of application and movement arm, you can change the force vector components and increase the amount of compressive force applied to the bone. Depending on the angle of insertion of the muscle, some force is applied to stabilizing or destabilizing the bone. When attempting to manipulate torque, it is important to realize that the joint range of motion does not always correlate with the amount of torque a muscle can create. When the muscle's angle of pull is greater than 90 degrees, only part of the muscle effort will produce joint rotation, or the rotatory component. A major force will produce to dislocate the joint, or the dislocating component. The antagonist stabilizer may assist in joint stabilization by countering the rotator force of the antagonist, in this case, the biceps. Here you can see the stabilizing component, the rotary component, and the dislocated component. More on that in another video.